Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to give you guys a pumpkin spice inspired look. It is now September and I live in Southern California. So you can imagine it's probably not very cold yet. It doesn't feel like fall 100%. It is pumpkin spice latte season. And if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes. And the day that I got the email, from Starbucks they're like hey crystal we just wanted to let you know pumpkin spice lattes are back today this was like mid-august guys it was so hot it was like a hundred and something degrees super hot but of course I went to go get my hot pumpkin spice latte and I've been getting them like almost every day since then and I don't really drink coffee but pumpkin spice lattes guys are so good let's get into this video if you want to see some pumpkin spice inspired makeup for fall so for the eyes, I am going to be using from a brand new brand that I have never heard of before. They contacted me and they sent me some goodies. I actually did an unboxing. And I'm so glad that I did the unboxing first because this palette is perfect for today's look. So the brand is called Confiance Cosmetics. They sent me quite a few things. I'm going to use a couple other things today. But this palette, guys, is so beautiful. I did some swatches. I'll go ahead and insert them right here i went ahead and filmed that so you guys could see the swatches i did them during my unboxing but anyways so you open up the palette it does have a pretty large sized mirror and these are the shades guys they're so beautiful they're really beautiful shades they have a shade called spice in here i'm like it was meant to be for me to open this palette today and it's this one right here so let's start the eyes. We're going to be using these equal tool sponges. I've never used them before. I already wet them. So they're pretty large right now because they're all nice and damp. But they feel pretty good. This one feels a little different. Like material, texture. I'm not sure what to call it. But I'm going to try them both. Let's take the smaller one. And I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I just have my Impressions Vanity Mirror here. I'm not going to use the zoom in one. But it does turn on here. I actually just charged it i love this mirror guys so it's super bright and you can actually dim it just by holding it and you'll start seeing it get lighter you can turn it off by tapping it and then turn it on again and what i really love aside from that zoom in mirror that it comes with and it just like attaches magnetically easily and you can take it off and use it on its own but it does come with its own stand which is really cool so you just put it on there and it's so pretty. This one is rose gold and it has little crystals all over it. It's so pretty. So convenient, especially when I'm filming or when you're doing your makeup anywhere. You just need to have a handheld mirror, you know? But then you have somewhere pretty to put it on the little stand. So I love Impressions Vanity, guys. I, if you saw my last video, I just posted about the setup. This is the mirror that I just set up on the side of me. I definitely recommend Impressions Vanity to you. And if you guys need to make any purchases, make sure you use my code. It is just my name, Crystal, with the S as a dollar sign instead. I'll go ahead and put it here and in the description for you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're taking that Born This Way concealer. We're just going to apply it onto the eyes. Let's try out this sponge. Let's see. This is the smaller one so that um the sponges came in like a two pack and it came with the small one so i'm trying to decide what i'm gonna do try to see where i get inspiration from just by looking at the palette i always come on here like not knowing the look i'm gonna do just like i just pick the products pick the palette and then from there i get like inspiration so again i have the confiance palette and then i also picked out this Sasha's Vanity Glitter that I haven't used actually and it's the Pumpkin Eater shade and if you guys don't know who Sasha's Vanity is make sure you go follow them they have amazing products I love their glitters oh my god this is so beautiful okay so let me try not to spill it so this is what it looks like it's super chunky it's called Pumpkin Eater it's so beautiful it's like a really burnt orange chunky glitter i'm gonna zoom you guys in and try to do a good job guys okay guys so this is the first time like i zoom in for a tutorial so hopefully this works out for you guys so you can see better so all i have is a concealer base right now um i don't have my brows done I'm just kind of brushing them up 
I hate doing my brows first for some reason. I can't have my brows done if I don't have foundation on. Um, so I kind of go all over the place. So hopefully you guys can keep up and follow me. I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow first. So the first shade I'm going to be taking is Canela. And it is this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply that all over my crease. This is just a fluffy brush from Morphe. It is the E28 brush. And I'm just going to start applying that in my crease. And I did not set my concealer first. I don't always do that. Sometimes I just go applying it. I've never used this palette before, so we'll see how the shadows perform on my eye. I have only swatched it. Swatches look nice, but of course you never know until you actually apply it to your eyes. I have pretty hooded eyes, so as you can see, like I, this is me not raising an eyebrow. And you see how my, like it just folds over onto my eyelids. Like the moment I open my eyes, my lids disappear completely. Um, but when I close them and I lift my eyebrow, like this is where you can see my whole lid. But literally my eyes disappear <laughs> when I open them. Okay guys, so after Canela, I went in with the Morphe E22 brush. I applied the shade 7, which is this yellow. Sorry, I thought I was filming when I was doing it. So I just kind of blended it above that crease just to blend it in add warmth and that yellow shade with the canela one i'll probably go in a little bit more with the canela right in the crease that is going to be with the e28 brush again just like that don't worry if like you're messy at the ends because we're just going to clean it all up towards the end because I still have to put foundation on. Next, I'm going to be taking the Spice shade with the Morphe E17 brush. And I'm going to be applying this towards the outer corner right here. And then I'm going to blend it in to the crease a little bit. I feel like when you do your eyes first, it always looks a little bit crazy in the beginning because you don't have any foundation on. But I promise you, it'll all come together in the end. So don't give up if you're trying this out and you feel like you look crazy with just orange eyes. So I kind of just like pat it in and then blend it a little bit in there. But we're going to go back in with one of the other brushes to do that. So don't think you have to go all crazy. Right now we're just trying to like add the color in. Mostly. So just like that. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Warmth and I'm going to be using the Luxie 121 Mini Tapered brush for this. This one we're going to go ahead and apply it mostly towards the very edge of the outer corner. Again into the crease in an upward position. I'm kind of just patting it before I blend it all in. Then I'm going to go back in with the E28 brush and the Canela color just a little bit and start blending in the crease where we added all those orangey shades. The reason that I didn't apply anything here yet is because I'm working with all my mattes first. Here I'm going to be applying a shimmer shade with a little bit of glitter on top. So for right now we just got to get the perfect blend guys. Just be patient. It takes a little bit of time. You can see it's all blending together. I'm going to be going back in with the E17 brush and the Spice shade because I do have hooded eyes and it all disappears when I open my eyes. I need to apply a little bit higher. So I'm just going to take that Spice shade and go in a little bit above my crease on the outer edge just so that it can show up a little when I open my eyes. This is the struggle of having hooded eyes, guys. And whenever I'm applying colors, I kind of keep going back and forth to build that intensity. So that is what we're doing. And you just keep doing it until you're happy. I'll probably go back in with the warmth shade. And we're just going to go a little bit higher as well. I always like to start lower and with less product in the beginning because you can always go back and keep adding more. But it becomes a little bit more difficult to take it off so I just add blend add blend until I'm satisfied with the color payoff I didn't add any more canela to the brush but I am just taking that brush from earlier to blend this all together you do always want to make sure you're blending every time you're adding in 
Next, I'm going to be taking the Stelazzi Flat Dome Shader Brush. That is the L210 brush, and I'm going to be putting in a shimmer shade now. I'm going to go with this shade first, and it is called Rust. And this one I'm going to add towards the middle, layering a little bit on top of that Spice Matte shade. And right now I'm just, I'm just patting it in. You guys can already see the intensity, and I haven't even like tried wetting the brush or anything yet. I do always like to go back and do that. But first I apply it dry, so that's what it's looking like. With the same brush on the clean side, and I'm going to be taking the shade Muse. This is another shimmery shade that I'm going to be applying right here. Again, overlapping a little bit on top of the rush shade, and then going in lower here like that i felt like the muse shade along with another shade in the palette were more like toppers when i swatched them and they were very glittery and shimmery so beautiful especially when it hits the light but um they seemed like they were buildable so just like that and one more time without adding more canela shade i'm going to be taking the first brush the morphe e28 just to blend it a little bit together right here the way I like to blend my shimmers here, you can move it around, but I don't always find it necessary to do that. How I applied that rush shade right on top of Spice, which was a matte, I kind of just like pat it in until it kind of blends in. And then the same, right? These two shimmers to try to mend them together. Now I'm going to be going in with more of the shimmer shade, but I'm going to wet my brush for each color. And then I'll go ahead and blend everything out again so sorry guys i always keep forgetting to press record so <laughs> what i did was i applied more of the rush shade on my stelazi brush with some of the morphe continuous setting mist just to wet it i do apply the shadow first onto the brush before i wet the brush and then i just pat it right in just in dabbing patting motions and I was saying because of my hooded eyes even with the shimmers wherever I push it on my lid I do go higher up into the crease just so you can see the actual shadows and wherever I do crease blending I do it a little bit higher I give an imaginary crease just so that again you can see them when I open my eyes so I'm going to be taking that Salazi brush and applying more of the Muse shade again I'm going to be spraying it with the Morphe mist and applying it in dabbing motions just like that and again going higher than my actual crease now that i have both of the shimmer shades on exactly how i want them so that i could blend the two here i'll just go back and forth overlapping where they connect with both of the shades so that it blends and you don't see a harsh line just like that so here's what we have so far. I kind of feel like I need to add a little bit more of the dark warmth shade right at the edge and a little bit of the spice. And I'm just going to blend it all together. So I'm going to repeat those steps. Just going to press in a little bit of spice right here. And then go in with some more of the warmth shade. And then take the first brush, barely dab a little bit of the canela shade from the first shade we got. And kind of just blend this all together just lightly all the edges that we just finished applying just be patient guys don't go crazy or very hard on your brush you want to do it lightly and be patient so that it all blends seamlessly without disturbing the actual color and removing anything or creating any dry patches I tend to have to be very careful with that because I do have a lot of dry patches on my eyes because of my eczema. So just lightly, just like that. So now that we have the top layer of our eye complete, I'm going to be applying some of the glitter I showed you from earlier. So you do want to use some type of glitter adhesive, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm going to be using what I have, which is the Ite Mineral Cosmetics Liquid Sparkle Bond. Mica and Glitter Eyeshadow Primer. Very long name, but this is what it looks like. 
So the way I apply the glitter is just by applying it onto a flat surface like my vanity and I just dip. And I'm going to be taking the Morphe 213 brush. It's a very small detail brush like this. And what I'm going to do is actually dip this brush into the liquid adhesive, soak it, and then just dip this brush into the Sasha's Vanity glitter. That's how I like applying glitter the best. So as you can see, because I did dip it into the glue and it was soaked, I just dipped it right into the glitter and it's all attached onto this brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and dab it exactly where I want to apply it on my eye. So I'm just going to try to sporadically just spread it around. So once it's applied, I'm just going to spread it around exactly where I want it. Just kind of play with it, move it around while it's still wet. Just like that. How pretty is this glitter, guys? Again, this is from Sasha's Vanity. It's called Pumpkin Eater. I thought it was so pretty. Do you see that? That's what we have going on so far, guys. This glitter is so beautiful, guys. I haven't used glitter in so long. Do you see when I open my eyes, these hooded lids, they just play me. But, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to be taking another product I haven't used before. It's called Color Slide by Glossier Play. And this is the Disaster Class Shade Pencil Liner. It looks like this. It's kind of like a reddish brown. So I'm just kind of applying it towards the bottom edge. And I'm probably going to smudge it out right now. And then just messily apply it towards my lash line just all across just like that then I'm gonna be taking my E36 Morphe brush this little tiny pencil brush and kind of just blend it out a little bit just so there aren't any harsh lines okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you on out so we can finish the mascara and lashes Move on to the face and come back to our brows. I told you it was a little all over the place. And then I don't work on the lower lash line until my foundation and concealer is on. So I'll zoom you guys out. In honor of these beautiful orange pumpkin eyes, we're going to take another sip of our pumpkin spice latte. Okay, I'm going to be taking the Mario Badesco Rose Lip Balm because I have some chap lips. And they need to be moisturized. I like to apply a thick layer of like some kind of balm. While I'm doing my makeup, that way at the end when I have my lipstick, they're nice and moisturized because something you guys are going to learn about me, every part of my body is super dry. I'm just going to be taking my Sephora Lash Curler. I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to apply a generous amount. Next, we're going to be applying some lashes. These are also by Confiance Cosmetics and they look like this super pretty these are in the style miami so here's what they look like i'm gonna go ahead and cut them fit them to my eye so here is what the confiance lashes look like um what i'm gonna do next is take my Stelazi brush and the angled mini s203 and my Stelazi borderline intense gel liner in the shade jet so it's just super black and i'm just gonna take it and tight line gonna get a wipe um my clinic wipes to wipe my face under my eyes and then i'll just use the same wipe to wipe these swatches away i'm not going too crazy right here because i don't want a sharp edge i'm not going to do a wing line or anything so i just kind of dab it towards the end because i'm going to blend it after my foundation's on anyway I'll be taking one of my favorite primers and that is the hangover primer from too faced I'm going to be taking that Equal Tools Beauty Sponge. Spray a little bit of the Morphe um, Mist just because it's been sitting there for a while so it wasn't as down. I'm going to be using the Born This Way Foundation and I use the shade Warm Nude. This one might be a little light on me because I did get a little bit more tan. We'll make it work with bronzer and stuff. So I'm trying to see how I want to use this sponge. It has this flat end and it has the bottom. I don't know how I feel about playing with that. Okay, I'm going to go with what I know. And use the bottom first and you guys I'm not really a 
full coverage queen even with having blemishes pimples or you know discoloration i still don't really do full coverage this foundation is um, medium coverage but it is buildable so i usually just do one pump of any foundation i use no matter if it's like full coverage or whatever the coverage i always just do like one pump and then go in um i don't know why i just don't like full coverage foundations i hate feeling anything on my face that's what it is mm, this bunch is okay it actually is blending out really nicely let's see let me try to use one of these flatten probably be good for like so i don't know if you guys can tell like that's already blended in like a, a little bit this one did a good job but you could still see my skin so that's what i like i don't like it to look like i'm wearing foundation even though obviously i am and then this side i have way more blemishes um but i feel like this foundations are really it just looks really pretty so even without the coverage even if blemish does show i really don't mind it i feel like it looks pretty good even though it's just one pump um if there's like little spots i feel like i need to conceal i'll just use the concealer like a dab here and there but that's what we have so far i'm gonna go in with the concealer in the shade almond down my nose and then I have like discoloration on the ends of my mouth I've always had them since I was little I'm not sure why but I add a little bit of concealer there just a little here and then I'm just gonna add a dot on like any pimples like blemishes I have I've been breaking out a little bit guys I don't know why um I think it's just stress and then you know when it's that time of the month So next, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. It looks like this. Ooh, a little bit of powder went everywhere. And then it does have the sifter, but it does have a protective seal as well. Hold on, which side opens? This side opens, and then it has like a heart-shaped sifter. I just kind of pour a little bit into the cap. this powder actually looks really good like it makes it look so flawless even with all my under eye creases and it still gives a good brightening effect then i usually take the same powder to set the rest of my face um i just kind of dab it like this loosely though i don't press it in as much like i did on under my eyes so now i'm going to be taking my time los angeles 104 brush just to sweep underneath my eyes. I'm taking my Stelazi Dual Fiber Large Powder S306 brush to take off the rest of the powder on my face. So for bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Benefit Hula Bronzer and my Kenyon Tiberos brush by Kenya Beauty and I just really like this like really dense thick it kind of looks like a fan brush but it's not and I don't know it just never thought I needed a brush like this but it works so good I'm just gonna make that face and contour my face like do you see how easy it applies it because of the angle and then I'm going to work it into my forehead and my hairline. And then I'm just going to use the other side because these are dull ended. I start by doing the tip here. Then just work it up this way. Whenever I apply contour, bronzer, blush, I always go in with another brush to blend it out. And I like to use the Morphe E34 brush to do that just to blend it all out. So there's no harsh edges. I'm going to be using the Stelazi Bahamas blush palette. 
I really love this palette a lot. And it does have a mirror in it, which is really cool. I'm going to be using the shades Rum Punch and Tropic, which are these two here. And I'm using the Time Los Angeles 103 brush. And start applying my blush by smiling a little bit. But I do apply a little bit. And then, like I said, I'm going to go back and blend. Back in with the blending brush. And just blend it all together. You can see the difference. So once I'm done applying like my powders on my face, I like to spray my face with the setting mist just so that way it can all melt together because I do have really dry skin. So that's why I like doing that step. So I like to take something just to fan the mist. I'll take my beauty sponge and just kind of dab it in. So next I'm going to be applying highlight and this one is by Confiance Cosmetics. And this is the shade Treasure and it is a loose highlighter. I'm going to be taking my Anastasia A23 brush, dipping it into the cap here. I've never used it before. Like I said, I did the unboxing today for this brand. So let's see how it applies on my face. Wow, guys. Highlighter makes me so happy. It's so beautiful. This is gorgeous. So, it's kind of like a champagne gold color. Oh, do you guys see this beautiful highlighter? Definitely go check out Confiance Cosmetics. I will leave their Instagram in the description so you guys can go and follow them. I'm just going to go back with this and kind of just blend it in on this. Time Los Angeles 206 brush and apply some on the tip of my nose all down the bridge. I am gonna go move on to my brows and I recently posted how I guess kind of how I do my brows on Instagram a little video um, so if you want to go check that out right now what I'm gonna be using same products I used in that video is by Benefit Cosmetics and I'm going to be taking my favorite brow product from them, which is the Goof Proof. And I use the shade 6. The reason I like this one so much is because it's an angled pencil tip, which I really like that. And then I'm going to be taking the High Brow, which is just a pencil to like kind of highlight or carve out your brow bone. And I'm going to be using the Ready Set Brow, which is a clear gel. I have really long hairs that like tend to fall. So I like to use a clear brow gel to like keep them in place. So I'm going to be using that, but I'm going to do my brows off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what my brows look like once they're done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the under eye shadow. I did also add the highlight as a brow bone highlight. I'm going to be taking an Morphe E18 brush with the shade Canela. You need a reminder, it is this one. I'm going to be doing a little bit of that yellow number 7 shade. That one right there. I'm going to be taking the spice shade which is that orange one i'm going to be doing that with a flat brush which is the m432 brush and just pressing that all along the lower lash line i'm going to go back in with that same e18 brush and go in with the shade warmth when i am applying all this i am connecting it to the outside right here so that it can all blend. I'm going to take one of the blending brushes I used earlier just to blend that and mesh it together on the edge here. Just like that, give it a little bit of a blown out look. Next I'm going to be taking the Glossier Play Color Slide Liner and this is the shade Jumbo. Looks like a pumpkin orange to me. I'm just going to apply it on my waterline. Taking my Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara, applying it to my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking that Timeless Angelus brush and dip into the highlighter by Confiance Cosmetics and apply it to my inner corner here. Just like that. 
Morphe lip liner in Coffee and Kissy. Line these lips. So that is a lip liner. This is such a pretty liner. I don't use it that often, but I'm thinking I should. Like, this is gonna be the new fall liner. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Stelazi lipstick, and this is a lip matte. And this is in the shade Sending Nudes. And this is such a pretty shade. I use this one often. Perfect nude. Okay, I'm just gonna take a random flat brush. I've never used this combo together, guys. But it's actually really beautiful. I love this lip combo. Okay, last I'm going to be using another Confiance Cosmetics product. And it is a lip gloss in the shade Ritzy. It's kind of like a subtle little shine. But it does feel good. It gives it like a really nice subtle sheen. But it looks so good. Okay guys, my last step is my mist. So, let's go ahead and spray my face. This is the finished look, guys. I love how it came out. So let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments. And what else you guys want to see from me. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. I'll leave everything in the description box. Like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, it was so good to film for you guys again. I'm super excited to be here doing this. I love it so much. And yeah, go get yourself a pumpkin spice latte because these are so good. And yeah, get yourself a pumpkin spice latte. Recreate this pumpkin spice inspired look. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Oh my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy, won't you bend that back for me? We won't stop, got your feet both locked You get to flop with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my